And a warm welcome on what is a very pleasant day for football welcome here at the Emirates Emerson. Stadium in North Please London. Pitch, I'm Derek Morris Ray, City. joined here on the commentary box Gunners. by Lee Arsenal. Dixon. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Arsenal and they take on Norwich City. Yeah, thanks Derek. Looking forward to a bright, lively start in this one. Quick tempo. Who can be the dominant force in the first 20 minutes? They could get the upper hand in this one. He brings so many different skills to the table, doesn't he? Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Well, he's a talented player, but he's got that one thing, the big P, what we all hate as defenders, pace. Soon as you've got that, you start looking behind you. Who's on the cover? And so they start at 11 for Arsenal. Bernd Leno begins in goal. Thomas Partey starts with Mohamed El Neni in central midfield. And leading the line today is the hard to defend against Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Now here's the Norwich City starting 11. A standard 4 4 2, a formation you know well from your playing days, Lee. Yeah, I like this formation, Derek. It's very, very important that when they haven't got the ball, they're all stick together. Very solid look about it. When they don't have the ball, very important that they stay close together in midfield. The back four will link across the width of the pitch, but they've got to help the forwards. The two up front need width. Saka, White, it's with Takahiro Tomiyasu, Thomas now, Cedric, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang's well-timed pass here, well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. Great reflexes from the keeper. Over it comes. Well, punched away by the keeper. Teammates available. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. And they deal with the threat this time. And he's fired over the corner. Just couldn't capitalise there. Todd Cantwell. And the ball with Roop. Could be a chance to break here. Really nice ball. And the flag raised. Offside it is. Promising looking attack. Cedric. And clears his lines. Sorensen. Ben Gibson. Todd Cantwell. Oh, good use of the ball. Lucas Rupp. Temu Puki. Ball played nicely. Went in strongly, decisively. Nicola Pepe. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Oh, that was a terrific stop in a one versus one situation. Well, high fives all round for the goalkeeper. Absolutely fantastic.
And now the delivery. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Oh, he's lost possession. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. Todd Cantwell. But attacking possibilities. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Do they have the guile to open up the defence? It looks promising. Cedric, a goal to give them a 1-0 lead, an excellent value for that advantage, you've got to say. Well, here's the replay, it's a really dangerous ball into the penalty area, and that's a good header. Eye on the ball, concentration, it's a lovely finish. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. The opening goal of the game, then. Jakob Sørensen. Gibson now. Lukas Rupp. Hanley. And the ball with Rupp. Any sort of lead is important. They have the lead. What have you made of it so far? Well, it's all going well for Arsenal, just, it's tight, control of the ball is key when a game's like this. They have the players to do it for sure though, but they'll be the happier of the two teams at half-time. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. And offside by the merest of margins. Rashica. And the ball with Roop. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, this man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Lee. Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead, but he's looked very, very lively as well. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Jakob Sørensen. Ben Gibson. Throw-ins given. Tommy Yasu. Nicola Pepe. White. Here's Cedric. El Nenny. Thomas now. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. Rashica. Cantwell. A good and fair challenge. In behind for him to chase. And over the top it goes. Close shave.
Half an hour remaining then. Chance to do damage. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Cedric. That's not a bad ball. The break that time was excellent. Not so much the finish. Oh, he was brilliant, wasn't it? The move, the counter-attack, and then all you needed to do was finish it off, and they couldn't. Jakob Sørensen and the ball with Rup Rashica Grant Hanley with it Tete Puki Super tackle and they've won possession So 20 minutes to go He's given it away Rashica and dribbling with it but out of play and in the second half the signs are positive they can't relax Lee but they ought to be pleased the Arsenal players have to focus on not making any mistakes in order to protect this slender lead if a bit of magic from the opposition gets them back in it there's little you can do about that very clear who got the last touch so a corner coming up what about the opportunity from earlier? Let's have another look now, shall we? He's driven in the corner. But it can't get all the way through. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Pepe. El Nenny. White. It's with Erdogan. And he's through here. Well, as we see again here, the damage is started with a beauty of a through ball. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. It's going their way, 2-0. Well, nicely cut out. Nicola Pepe. Tierney. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. Lucas Rupp. Aaron's Hanley Jakob Sørensen Puki and the ball with Rup Hanley the referee's verdict is three additional minutes Marco Stiepermann Temu Puki has the strength to hang on to it they might be able to get in now. Oh, right in the nick of time. So there it is, the final whistle, and a satisfying outcome for Arsenal and the many fans around the world, Lee. Well, you have to say, they did deserve the win. The two-goal margin might flatter them a little, but that won't bother them. It's three points in the bag. The cameras get up close and personal with Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang with good cause. Well, he never gave that back line a chance to get a breath. Two goals for the lad today. Played superbly well, looked really sharp. 